What's up, YouTube? Will survives and who? Back with another one. Hey, hey, I think I'm gonna start doing an introduction uh, on every video for the new people that are seeing the page. This is like about day 40 uh, out here in the woods. Moved to the mountains in New Mexico. Built a cabin and I'm trying to get ready to live in it through the winter time. I got a little puppy dog, hoop dog, and uh, he's actually growing quite big. He's getting big, he's a great Pyrenees and shepherd mix. I've only had him for about two weeks and he's already grown and he's gonna be big. Weather has been quite strange. It has actually been kind of hot these last two days, up near 70 degrees actually. Uh, this morning I woke up, it was actually kind of chilly, but it's probably gonna heat up again today. This time last year, here and even like a month ago there was snow on the ground so i am uh ready for snow to fall any day now doesn't show in the forecast but you know you never know i've still been eating the same thing every day just this uh gumbo and a can of beans and i'm throwing a lot of hot sauce in there went to the store and just got some new hot sauce yesterday and some big bottles so i don't have to go through one of these every single day i bought an 18 inch gas powered chainsaw so i could start getting firewood and then have to keep recharging the batteries with the van collected these trees i have to uh cut all these bad boys up and chop them all up and then do that about six or seven times probably i also picked up four more water jugs i already have two and i can refill these in town that's about 20 minutes away for two dollars a bottle or i can go to the neighbors they're about half mile over this way and they have a well that they said i could use in the winter time it's going to be uh snowy so i might be like bringing a sled with uh, uh five gallon water to fill up but i got options i got these heavy duty shower curtains clear for the front awning I'm hoping that just blocks a little bit of the wind and helps snow not coming in the front. I'm also thinking of building a wall out this way, covering it and having a storage area right here for water and propane and all the fun stuff. Still running the Jackery. All the way to the van to power it. I have not yet gotten a large solar panel system set up which i will need to power all of my stuff but i'm gonna get on that soon and i've officially been moved into the cabin for like four days five days um it stays really warm in here in the night and stays cool in here during the day pretty sweet got the little wood stove set up it's kind of small but the cabin is small and it's really well insulated so I'm not worried at all about staying warm this winter, I don't think. I have this little tool shelf set up, but I need some more storage. I can store two totes under here, two totes over there, and a tote right here. But I want to build a shelf here so I could store like clothes and other stuff up here. I'm never standing right here because my bed, so I just have to make it high enough that I can sit down on the bed comfortably. And check this out, guys. If I sit right down here in my chair, I can look out the window. Very cool. And yesterday I built this little desk. Unlock it. Whoa, bam. Signed it, Will Survives. Let's go. Now, I have a desk. And I hang my little computer right there. Guys, this is Ben. He got here two days ago with a big old camera. And he shoots documentaries. And he's shooting a documentary of this for like a week. He's going to be out here filming. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to be uploaded. I don't think he knows yet. But it's going to be cool. It's cool having company. I'm used to being out here all alone. I like being alone, but... It's cool for, for a few days, you know. Got the vent 
but can't put it under the window now, so thinking about doing the door. Here's Ben up close. What up? The roof is almost complete. All of these panels are screwed in. You guys kept telling me I needed the uh, screws with the washers for roofing. I had those the whole entire time. I showed them too. But I uh, read all your guys' YouTube comments and um, you guys helped me out by saying I could just put them in the bottom of the ridge as opposed to the top. I thought I had to put them in the top because it'd be way less likely for water to be able to leak in if they're in the top because all the water is going to be running down here. Way less likely for stuff to catch on the screws. Uh, debris might be able to catch right there and cause block ups, but you guys said it was cool. Everybody actually, like 99% of the homies were saying put them in the bottom, so did that. We're going to see how many comments tell me I uh, should have put them in the top. <laughs> Woo! Uh, but yeah, I did mess up a couple times. I got some holes, got some holes to patch up. I thought the flex seal would get that, but it didn't. So I'll figure out how to fix that. I have the ridge caps. I just haven't put that on yet. I should have got the uh, tape that's used for where these sheets overlap. I overlapped them every two ridges and I got a bunch of flex seal sprayed in between where they're overlapping. But this still like pops up a little bit. It's probably tight like right here and right here. But do you guys think I should go over the tops with flex seal? Or with something else? Or is it good to go? Instead of the clear corrugated for the awning, I'm just gonna do metal. I'm just gonna continue the metal out. I, uh, I think I'll still be able to get light in through the front. I don't think it's that big of a deal for real. And I can always change it after winter but i just want to be able to not die in the winter time i think the uh bud heaters don't uh put off bad stuff or something so you can run them inside or something like that i don't know i'm gonna get the uh buddy heater and get the hose extension and run it through here have you guys seen this i'm running the uh, solar panels and chargers and all that fun stuff through here now and i'm gonna run them out to uh the heater out to my propane tank hopefully i'm keeping propane out here and i'll also run a propane cook cooker thingy majiggy out here i'm gonna make a little kitchen right here kitchen desk where i could cook up baby super sorry guys i haven't been motivated really to video stuff and post what i'm doing uh, i got the homie doing the documentary here right now and he's filming stuff and i've been just kind of working and um but i want to post this update for you guys and i'll try to film what i do today and upload this tonight hopefully i'm about to get my small game license here pretty soon i got the little 22 and uh, there's a bunch of rabbits running around i'm trying to eat a rabbit and uh, there's turkeys too uh i just haven't seen them in a bit but they'll probably come around all right guys i'm collecting firewood firewood not bad for a little two hour sesh huh guys i'm about to have a pile in no time so it didn't take too long to get a bunch of firewood i am a beast <laughs> uh but I'm probably gonna need like at least 10 times this much, maybe 20 times that much. And some of it is a little damp. I think most of it's pine, which also isn't good, but all I have out here is pine, pretty much, I think. But if it doesn't end up working out, guys, I'll save this pile of wood for next winter and I'll buy some wood, dude. I, I really am not trying to die. You know what I'm saying, guys? But now it's time to cook up some lunch, dude. And uh, then me and Ben with the lens and Hoop Dog are going to go to the lake and go fishing. Catch some fish and maybe even shoot a little bit of a music video. Hooper eats anything that is a solid. I don't know why. But, uh... I think it's fine, I think. Dude, look how big he is. He's getting bigger, dude. 
It's messed up. That's gonna be the doghouse in no time. I need to start on a cabin up there. Whew. And literally 90% of my meals are the same. I just put some of the gumbo in there. Beans. And hot sauce. Oh yeah. Fire it up. Mix it up. And then I'll eat a tortilla or two with it. Bam! No fruits and veggies really, but there's some veggies in here. And I'm thinking about starting to get canned fruit again. I just always forget. YouTube. I accidentally caught the biggest trout I've ever caught in my life. It's almost as big as Hoop Dog. Little rainbow. Got it all cleaned up. About to head back to camp. Cook this bad boy up. Let's go. Made a little fire pit right by the hut. Gonna cook up that trout and a steak and some mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, baby. Got the fire cooking. We got the steak all cooked up. Trout cooking. Too big for the pan, that's how Willie does it. And uh, <laughs> check out my mashed potatoes, folks. We got a big old bowl of taters, dude. With parsley and garlic. We're not playing around, for real. Bam! 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 Woo! Chicken my fingers, dude. Destroyed. Bada boop, bada bop. Morning, homies. Sorry again, dude, for the short video, but I'm just a little bit busy, bro. You guys know that I'm going to pick it up, bro. I'm going to pick it up. The videos, I'm going to give you guys what you want. Here pretty soon, guys. Especially in the wintertime when I don't am not doing anything before noon. So thank you guys for staying tuned and staying positive and staying legit. And uh, I have a ball of good energy again, guys. It's the best energy in the world. It's going to, it's going to boom. Wait, wait for it. Well, bam. You guys felt that? I know you guys felt that. Uh, you're going to take that good energy and put it to good use and i know it keep killing it bro keep doing your thing and it's all gonna work out in the end dude i know it i'm positive everybody have a beautiful day have a beautiful week and i'll see you guys later will you out hey hey Hey, hey, I make the glizzy flit Wrap the string around the hood Wait for a tug and reel it in Hey, I reel it in Looking out for bears Cause Willie really eat the same food as him I should probably buy what's though But I can't find one on Craigslist And they expensive at the store I'm in my bag Looking for the silky and the axe I'm in the river Flipping rocks and stones I'm looking for crawdads